hello guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, the video you're about to see is a short video all about a camping and spearfishing trip that I did uh, last week in southwest Cornwall with a couple of my friends. Um, there'll be loads of spearfishing content, uh, kind of vlog style content and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, this is like the kind of start of my YouTube channel now so um, I'm going to be pumping out content uh, when I go on trips or do photography trips, spearfishing trips, travel. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy and yeah, see you soon. Yes, boys. Yeah. Boys. Hey. Out in Cornwall. Little lads. Oh. Barking on an insane camping trip. Let's go. Right, a bit of a mission that. It's high tide, so we're trying to get the bags onto the the uh, beach that we're camping at tonight. Um, the site looks beautiful. Hopefully, get some bass for dinner, maybe a lobster, whatever I can get. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so yeah, this is um, this is camp for tonight. We're just getting the stuff here now getting the all the stuff on the beach and this is, uh, this is home for the night um, looking forward to it and um, fingers crossed for some fish that'd be really 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 good that'd, that'd make it all worthwhile So this is my it's my first dive of the trip. Um, the visibility looked amazing. The conditions were absolutely perfect uh, compared to my last time diving in Cornwall. Um, you know, I was diving in March and the visibility was awful. I couldn't even see past the front of my spear gun. It was raining. It was cold. It was rough, rough weather. Uh, but then, obviously, you know, to come back three, four months later and have these conditions was just perfect. I was so ready to get in, and um, you know, I was trying to relax myself, but I was just so excited, and you know, I was almost, uh, you know, shaking with excitement because I was so, so ready to get in and start hunting. Uh, but you know, uh, this dive, I was um, going to look around the shallows. Uh, for some bass and mullet because there was a nice patch of stringweed in in the um in the corner of the bay which i was going to look through and then there's also some deeper water um further out where i would hope there'd be some nice kelp reef and i was right there was some beautiful pristine kelp reef which i'll show you guys later on so this is my first dive of the of the summer um, i just had a little uh, drop on this bit of shallow kelp reef. Um, it was great being back in the water. It was um, awesome to see all the wrasse doing their things and just the bait fish swirling around. I even saw two, um, I think two schoolies on this drop, um, but I don't think you can see them on the footage. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, it was just very promising to see that, were, that there were bass in the area and made me very hopeful for the next couple of dives. So this is um, a part of the dive in which I was hunting um, bass for the stringweed. 
I was uh, moving really quietly. Um, it was a very kind of intense part of the dive because I'd seen loads of bass, um, you know, kind of skulking through the stringweed, and they knew that I was there um, because I'd seen about three or four decent bass um, dart into the stringweed. So I changed my tactics and started moving really, really quietly. I was controlling my breathing. I was hardly finning. I was kind of using my um, my hand uh, to kind of push myself forward. And then I see this bass below me like this, and you just see it there, and I, I take the shot and um, nail him straight through the gills. Uh, really, really good shot. I'm kind of proud of myself for making that shot, especially because the fish was moving quick. So I, I just aimed in front of the fish and got him straight through the gills. Um, but yeah, no, good shot, good, good um, shot placement. Um, that fish ain't going anywhere. Um, decent, beautiful, golden-looking bass. Um, perfectly legal-sized, um, beautiful-looking fish. And um, yeah, brilliant for the um, the barbecue later on that evening with my friend. Um, this is the uh, quite important part of the whole process when you dispatch the fish. If you don't stone it outright, you uh, brain it. You just put the knife straight for the top of its head and you kill it instantly. It looks pretty pretty grim, but it's the quickest way to do it. Um, and the fish is dead instantly, um, so it's not suffering. But yeah, I was very happy with this. I was ecstatic almost, uh, so much adrenaline pumping through me. Uh, it was a great feeling, um, as you can see. So yeah, um, you know, brilliant, brilliant first uh, fish of the summer, uh, first bass of the year actually, and um, yeah, very very happy with this fish. As I was in the water, you know, risking my life to uh, get dinner for the lads, um, they had something else in their mind. They were taking shots of vodka on the beach. It's supposed to be, you know, collecting firewood and, you know, setting up the tents, but, you know, they obviously thought vodka um, was, a, was a must. <laughs> There we go. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, fish. Whew. First bass of 2023. Thank you. Beauty. So, what a dive? Um, just out here, fishing in this bay here and around here, and um, literally within five minutes, saw a bass. Um, so I just make, kept this slow. And I was stalking through the string, re the string weed, and I saw some bigger ones, but I stayed slow and um, I was trying to figure out how many bass there were. I didn't want to spook them. Lots of bait fish around as well, sand eel and little sprats, or I don't know what they were. Um, but yeah, got to got to the middle of the bay and um, found this thick area of stringweed, and this large bass just popped out right underneath me and shot him um, straight through, through through the head, through the gill. He was still alive, so I was able to go down and grab him and uh, dispatch him so I put the um, footage in now for you guys. <sighs> Bit buggy here. Cook some fish. Um, I'm just gonna do it very simply. I'm gonna get this, get this fire started. Get some hot coals on it. Get the grill hot, and then we're gonna get a pan on, some oil, salt, pepper, and, um, and fry the bass. Got some mushrooms and some bread rolls, and just yeah, we're just gonna have a little fish fry and 
enjoy this beautiful, beautiful scenery that we're in. Mike's just filleted the fish, now we've got it on the, on the fire. We've uh, marinated it in salt and pepper, some lime and lemon to stick on it. Mm, that's very good. Taste test. Can't complain, it's pretty good. What do you think, boys? How is it? Yes, that's really good. Top notch. Thank you, Mike. Fish in the restaurant You're anyway. welcome, lads. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, fish. Back up there again tomorrow. <laughs>